All right, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you my room at Haciant by Academic Village at Arizona State. I was in the situation where I needed to pick the room like a year ago now and there's literally no videos on YouTube showing the rooms. So uh, today we're going to show you our room. This is like the main hallway right here. This is what they look like. I'm on F7 and um, I believe that our room is the best room in Hossie. So if you want to get this room, we're going to show you why inside, but this is F. 701 number two and then the second best room of Hossie is literally right here and this is f7021 this is a handicap room if you can get it you get like a double size room so that's pretty sweet all right let's go take a look inside so right here is our hallway so this is our business center slash kitchen uh, not all rooms come standard with this, only the corner rooms do. So we use this room for like our kitchen and for our lockdown browser tests, we'll come in here. But also, we can get pretty noisy in this room. Right next door is a stairwell, so it's another reason why this room is pretty cool. I've had like 15 people in this room alone and we've been very loud. We've also had no ROA, RA for the past um, whole year and uh, we've been able to get really rowdy here. Jacob, my roommate's got his air fryer, his waffle machine, everything set up in here. We also got the drying rack, which is pretty sweet. And this room doesn't get any electricity at all. So we wired an extension cord all the way from inside of our room, which I'll show in a second. But this room is definitely awesome to have. So if you can snag this room, I highly recommend it. And over here, we're gonna go take a look inside the main room now. All right, coming in here. So if you get a standard Hossie room, pretend that this is the main hallway door because this is what it's gonna look like. So coming on inside here, we have our closet spaces right here. We're gonna show Jacob's closet because it's way cleaner than mine. You get a, what is this, like a hanging rack? Yeah, hanging rack. Jacob brought his own drawers here. And then there's some storage space up here. And then um, we have mine, I have the smaller one right here. If you guys get room F701, I want to see a bigger graveyard. Let's get that going. And uh, right here is the, this is the sink space. Uh, we get one on this side and then we have a Jack and Jill bathroom that connects to our suite mates room and they also have their own sink space. It comes standard with some storage at the bottom here. As you can take a look at. Decent amount of space. And then we have some storage right here which is cool for like toothbrushes and stuff. I'm also gonna recommend that you guys bring some duct tape and a bowl because the fire alarm will literally go off sometimes three times a week at as early as three or four in the morning. So you wanna have something that's gonna cover that because it's extremely annoying after the first 10 times. Now let's go check out the main room, shall we? So this is the main room in here. This is another reason why this room is awesome. We scored with an awesome view. We were very lucky to, to get this room. We get a full view of the SDFC field out here. The gym's right there. And then very back in the far back is the WB Carey School of Business, which we still have not been inside due to COVID. It's kind of a bummer. Um, over here is my side. We have some decorations, Arizona State blanket and everything like that. Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda, of course. And I'm gonna show you what the room comes standard with. Comes standard with two desks, so this is Jacob's desk, and then it comes with two dressers, and then the bed frames, and that's it. You're gonna have to get your own refrigerator, your own bedding, and everything like that. And it does come with a mattress, obviously, but I recommend a mattress topper as well. That's a game changer. These mattresses are not comfy at all. Uh, there's a decent amount of storage in these right here. You get three of the drawers store clothes or school supplies or anything in there. And I'm gonna show you the second view we have, which is pretty sweet. It's my desk view right here. This is the main Hossie field. So you can see what's going on down here if people are up to something down there, which is pretty sweet. And then uh, another thing I'm gonna recommend is an air purifier. Uh, it's just nice to have like some fresh air in here. None of these windows actually open up, so it can get pretty, you know, it can get pretty dry in here and kind of musty sometimes. 
And uh, also these overhead lights are kind of a game changer because if you don't have lights in your room, there's no overhead lightings that are standard in here, just these boo-fast concrete ceilings. So having some lights like makes this room not really feel like a cave, which is cool. Um, anything else in here, Jacob, that you wanna check out? I mean, no, not really, you kinda hit it all yeah. with everything. Oh, we do have a fish. We do have the fish, Cedric. You Cedric. are allowed in the Hostia back at Nemec Village. You're allowed to have pretty much whatever animal you want. You can have a dog or a cat. You can just get it signed off. I wouldn't recommend keeping a dog or cat in here. It's yeah, kind of a sad life for it. Yeah. But um, all right, we're gonna show you the bathroom next. So um, in the bathroom right here, it's pretty beat. This is what all Hostia bathrooms look like. Pretty musty. Uh, the lighting in here sucks for sure. Yeah, it does. Uh, there's a toilet in here and there's a shower. Nothing exciting. And, um, water pressure is terrible also in the showers. Alright, we're going to do a quick view of this room in here. So this is our sweet mates area. Let's see if Brother Darius is awake. Brother Darius down bad from last night. Alright, now we're going to come out of here. So, a few key points of policy that I would recommend are buying a water, the water service here. There's really no water sources on campus unless you go to the pod market to actually buy like big gallons of water, which gets expensive over time. And uh, what else is there to recommend? Oh yeah, for meal plans. Oh yeah, meal plans. I am going to recommend either the smallest meal plan, which I think is, what is that, the Sparky or something like that? Something like that, it's like eight meals a week. Yeah, and if you're like really hungry and you know you're gonna eat a shit ton, I would recommend the Maroon. It, do not get the Unlimited. The Unlimited is the biggest waste of money at yeah. school here. I don't care how much you're gonna eat, you're not gonna eat enough to like wanna use the Unlimited. So that's beats for sure. Uh, I have the maroon myself and I still have swipes like I leave here in one week and I still have like 20 swipes left And I can use that as much as I want whenever I want. There's no limit for the day. So I'm gonna recommend that And I'm also here for another week and the food is beat as shit at this point Like it was good at the beginning of the year, but I would not recommend getting the unlimited. All right, yeah. Jacob anything else that you recommend? Uh, I, I mean definitely get some good like just some snacks and stuff for your for whatever right. you know because like he Still said yeah like say i got a bunch of stuff up here uh just like rice i've also been eating a lot of rice and chicken he's got like protein chips and stuff oatmeal peanut butter also have some creatine and i butter. also recommend if you're going to be rushing a fraternity or anything like that bring a suit or some formal clothes with you oh yeah definitely. just because you don't want to ship that out later on i had to do that myself and that was kind of a hassle so if you know you're going to be rushing bring some formal clothes but um, other than that, this has been the tour of Hasiampe Academic Village. I recommend either getting F7, if you can get on this floor, this is the best floor in Hasi, or if you can get an F, G, and H are solid. G and H get pretty rowdy if you're okay with that, but um, this is the place to be for any business major. All right, guys, have a good one. We'll see you later.